whatever is going on in the community will be reflected in your school. Uh, you know, if it's high COVID spread throughout the community, it's going to be high in your school. And there's, there's really no way uh, of changing that. School districts throughout Ohio are preparing for the beginning of the school year. Districts are doing everything from remote learning to a full return to the classroom. Today, Governor Mike DeWine spoke out about a return to school. Local 12's Anjanette Levy is live in the Breaking News Center with more on what he said. Anjanette, good evening once again. Good evening to you, Kyle. Again, there was a good a little bit of good news today, and we want to start off with that. Governor DeWine said that the number of coronavirus cases in Ohio is actually ticking down. There were 1,095 reported in the last 24 hours. As for those back to school plans, the governor says those are decisions that need to be made on the local level. Those pediatricians who joined him today reiterated that children can contract COVID-19, but most children will do well with their symptoms. Only a small percentage will need to be hospitalized according to their numbers. And to make schools safe, pediatricians say children and teachers should wear masks. Distancing of six feet or even three feet should be in place and proper hand washing and cleaning should also be in place. The doctors were also asked whether or not it is safe for children to ride the bus to school. I understand that bus riding feels um, different. It feels more constrained. It feels like children are in very close contact, which they are. But the good news is children are facing forward. If they're behaving on the bus, they're facing forward. Um, if they're wearing masks, if they are not sick, um, if they practice hygiene before and after being on the bus, uh, then I think children can ride the bus safely. Now, there was also a question asked of those pediatricians today about what it would be like for children in a crowded hallway. They said that that's certainly not ideal, but children wearing masks in a crowded hallway would certainly change things. So that is what they would recommend. In the Breaking News Center, I'm Anjanette Levy.